baby! Here we go. Woo! You see that? That's a tornado right there, baby. Get some photos of that, man. birth of a tornado, nature's masterpiece. I really want to say congrats on the movie. You guys didn't crash the Ferrari. I know this is going to be a hit, so let's start with that. Um, and obviously, we'll just talk about the dog real fast. He's, a, he's our resident storm chaser. He's been so chasing. Our mascot. Yeah, he was bought on Glen. Well, I'll let you see. He yeah. was he was bought on set. Well, we really all we all adopted Brisket yeah. uh, midway through shooting Twisters. So this is he's he really was born from the storm. My quick, my <laughs> your head out of there, Brisket. Hey, Brisket. You're on telly. Hey, buddy. Um, <laughs> Was this it's unbelievable? A, was this a re like did, was Brisket found on set? I don't actually know the story. No, Brisket was it was it was adopted in in, in L L A and been brought back to Oklahoma City. Mm. Okay, I understand. So he's a little yeah. pup. Yeah, he's a bit, but but um, oh my goodness! Immediately was brought to the set of Twisters, and then and then every department became sort of babysitters and Daisy Daisy and and then and played with. Uh, you know Tony's dog you Prince. My and, dog and, Prince you know, all the time. So it's a, it's it's Prince raised by the whole village. <laughs> uh, first of all, thank you for sharing the story. And the dog is very, very, very cute. Now let's talk about the T-shirt I'm holding. So last night we did a screening uh, with your director and um, Super Yaki teamed whoa. up with us. Whoa. And sick. So uh, we gave these shirts out, and I, they might be sold out or they're on the Super Yaki website. But my question is basically for you, Glenn. So this is aimed at you. This T-shirt. Like, is it one of these things where you will actually wear this and walk around in public with it? Or is it, you know what I mean? Like, what's the rule when you're on a shirt like this? Mm. Or, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I have that tattooed on my back. <laughs> so there's just, I don't even need to wear the shirt. And most of the time <laughs> I'm not wearing a shirt back. anyway, so. <laughs> I'm gonna give this to one of you if you can actually, uh, this is, uh, if you don't know the answer, it's totally cool. But what famous director who directed Tar was an actor in the original. Oh Star. yeah, Todd Field. No way. Yeah, yeah. Todd Field. Is yeah. he, so he's in like a, what scene's he in? He is, uh, he plays uh, Tim Belzer Lewis. You win the shirt. Tim oh, thank you. Hey! <laughs> it, it take off my shirt on the back, I just wanna show everybody. <laughs> brisket. Wait, brisket? Pervert. Um, with a little bow tie. I think there's nothing wrong with this. This is, this Just is, let him go. You know, um, so one and of my the- My man Brisket <laughs> making his own movie over here, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> One of the things, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna run this before or after release, but one of the things that I loved is the fact that you, your two characters don't kiss in the film. And uh, it's great because I've seen it twice and both times audiences are like, I can't believe they didn't kiss. Mm. And, and, I want, and I heard you guys filmed where you kiss and obviously they didn't use it. What was your like take on this in terms of, because I think it's great that you didn't, you know what I mean? I think it's a Spielberg note, it wasn't it? Yeah. I think I think it was. Do you know what it is? I think it 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 stops the film feeling too cliched. Actually, I, I think I think I there's agree. something really wonderful about it feeling like there's a sort of continuation. Like this isn't the end of their story, and and that they're kind of united by their shared passion of something. And brisket, <laughs> yo, brisket going, going to town, town right now. I'm oh, yeah. going crazy over <laughs> there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was so funny. I also, man, I also party, think yo. That I also think that this movie is not about them finding love, it's returning Kate to the thing that she loves, which is storm chasing, mm. right? And so that's what you have at the end of the movie is like they they share this thing and like her passion is reinvigorated, her, her sense of home is reinvigorated. So like, I feel like a kiss would be sort of unrepresentative of, of, of the right goal, mm. you know, at the end of the movie. Mm. And it is a good Spielberg note. It's why Spielberg, you know, that kid's still in this game. Yeah. It's amazing. Question for all three of you, and it's probably my last uh, question. I'm almost out of time. Uh, you see the shooting schedule. What day do you have circled in terms of, oh my God, I can't wait to film this, or oh my God, how the F are we gonna film this? I felt a bit of both for a lot of the scenes. Um, but I think for me, it was the motel sequence. There's a crazy sequence in the film that's all on a one -er from a motel. We go to a motel and we hide in a pool and then we come out again in the whole place. The motel has been completely sort of flattened and we did it all in one shot. And I was like, how the heck are we gonna achieve this with all the like things dropping on us and crazy, like we had like a horse trailer and a, a vending machine and people being pulled up on wires. For me, that was like, how how is that gonna, how is that gonna work? And so that was, and it turned out so, it's so, when you're watching it, you're like, oh my God, it's so thrilling and intense that, yeah. for me, yeah. I don't think there's any scene that we shot outside when we came back from the strike. Mm. We were in December 
It was December in Oklahoma, and we were all in short sleeve shirts. I think days you had a tank top on. I, yeah, yes. it froze. It froze and that day, that night shoot. It, it wet down. Like right, mm. crazy. And I'm like watching the scene, like in the theater at the premiere. I'm just like, I was freezing. We couldn't speak. We couldn't even talk. Like we, like our mouths were, we were like doing the scene <laughs> and our mouths are barely moving. And we had like, right? Like then they have what a- What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, my two, three best friends, <laughs> we all, they all died for your science project. <laughs> like, I mean, it was rough. It was rough. They'll just say, so yeah, so I, on the schedule, it was like anything we were shooting outside in the winter uh, when we came back, I was just like, oh, please God, just let us get through this, I guess. Mm -hmm. But I feel for these guys though, they, they have to shoot a massive sequence and get rained on and win. So, I mean, I can't even, I can't even say anything because they, they really, they really went through it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Those days. Well, I think I think that's you know look for, for to to make sure audiences feel what this ride should be, you have to go through those elements yourself, and mm -hmm. so like that's that's what like that is the fun part I think about this this movie is you have the best in special effects. Like obviously there's going to be a visual effects thing that can kind of create the bigger tornado, but in terms of what's close, what's actually affecting the characters, yeah, you can't make a tornado look light. It can't look friendly because it's not, you mm -hmm. know.